Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 82 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. So let's finally see what Deed has to say to us. Alright, Deedhelm has something to consult with Avaro about. So this line of text conveys a, covers up a good number of lines of text where Deed actually explains himself. So you want to increase your attack power. It's true if we got to the point where you could defeat an enemy with one shot. It'd be more effective when we're exploring and stuff. So as he talks about it, they think of various methods. Alright, how about a concentrated attack? If we do that, there, our attack power should arise. Mm, they say concentrated attack. But what they're actually talking about is coordinated attacks. So multiple people in a single attack. With the coordination, the it should raise the power, true. But, well, it's not too difficult for Deet here, who has a ranged weapon. Trying to coordinate with a melee weapon at the same time could be a bit difficult. If only they had some common features. Like, Deet and Navarro had them? We're both engineers, but being engineers is more about the explorations and the gathering things, so it's not much use in actual fighting. Well, there's also a matter in, the, in their building and crafting capacities. And furthermore, the two of them also both use mechanical weapons. That's true, isn't it? it? Pretty much everyone else uses some kind of, well, weapon type weapon. And these guys use, like, miniature machines. Hmm, yeah, there's that. So the two of them talk about that for a while. Alright, let's try this. In these ways, we, the two of us should be able to coordinate attacks. Alright. If we have the opportunity, let's try them out. Yay, new skill for Avaro. Yay, new skill for Deet. If we have the chance... Yeah, I'm never going to try them out. The two of them are just more useful being apart because they're both able to do their mining and searching and repairing things. Having them together actually makes it like there's only one engineer in the party. Ah, in any, any case, that wasn't much of a scene, was it? I almost feel guilty of making a cliffhanger of the last episode on that. Almost. Alright, so, there's actually pr some pretty heavy mists here. It's hard to see. And the field of visibility is pretty bad. It's a good thing we decided to scout the place out before bringing the castle. Well, 
So this place is actually pretty famous in Infraduce Kingdom. Since it's the entryway to the Thunderhead Sea, and there are these stretches of heavy mountains, this particular area has a form that looks like a bridge of dragons. So it's called the Dragon Bridge. Ooh, a bridge of dragons. Feels really getting the feeling like there's going to be dragons popping up soon. So, if it's famous, does that mean people come and see it? Actually, this area falls into the purview of the Earth Dragons, and it's not exactly a sightseeing destination, no. In fact, Rosalina has never actually been here. Yeah, how many places have you been? Mostly you're taken out to blow up armies or stuff, and then you're sent back to your tower, aren't you? In any case... In other words, if we continue along this path, we're going to be fighting with the Dragon Tribe soon. Yes, but something's strange here. The Earth Dragons in this area seem to be fewer in number than she is used to. Perhaps Kalmag came through and de defeated a bunch of them. So they've taken on casualties from this civil war. So, does Katarito know anybody among us here? Well, she isn't certain. She probably hasn't met any of them personally, but they might know her. Well, she is famous. Yeah, because she's the daughter of the chieftain. But at this time, we've got to worry about Karmeg, who is on our rampage, basically. In any case, since we're looking at the Earth Dragons here, and it's a different form of dragon than either the Lightning Dragons, like Katarito, or the Mist Dragons, like Kalmerg. So, Katarito, we've got one request for you here. So, what is it? Could you try and convince some of these dragons? In other words, talk to them, try and keep them from fighting us. So there should be some, perhaps, among the dragons here that won't actually fight us, who will follow, follow Kalterito instead of Kalterimilg. After all, if we don't have to fight, we don't want to. Yeah, that's him saying it. So, if there's anybody whom you can talk with here, we should give it a shot. You really you want her to do it? Well, yeah, because it's you, we think you can do it. All right, she'll give it a shot. Great, we're counting on you. So everybody, let's continue on. Take care if you see any dragons. No, no. 
Well, I'm going to take this opportunity to level up some of my lower level characters, actually. And as for people whom Katorito can talk with, it's basically these three here. And interestingly, if you bring her the bring her over to one of them, next to one of them, there will be a little scene, and it differs depending on which form Katorito is in. I'm going to do it in the big form just because I like the scene. I think there's also a scene when you change into her for the first time. I'm not certain if this just happens on this map or whether it happens on all maps, but here's a scene. Yeah, most likely just this map. So, becoming a true dragon, the dragon tribes in the vicinity look on her with awe and fear and stuff. Oh, so, even though she was still young, she managed to turn into such a beautiful lightning dragon form. Hmm, interesting. So, with this there, Dragon Tribes are safe, since their king is returned. Life no Isn't that nice? Banzai! <laughs> Banzai. Long live the king. The queen, I suppose we should say. So, she's giving out quite the roar. Perhaps she's trying to show off for her people. No, oh, what's she saying, kind of thing. She's saying... She has become this proper. Hmm, I see. And it seems like the dragon tribes in the vicinity are being moved just by the side of it. So a number of dragons apparently won't fight us uh, while she's in this form. Alright, we're following the queen. So we can't give the throne up to one of our protect we cannot give the throne up to a pretender. So now that her true power has been released, let's retrieve it for Katarito. Okay, so there's this scene, but the guys are still there. It doesn't actually change anything. Anyway, let's take a look at whom we need to level up. You and Mikeu. Rurin, Yorin, and you are all level 27 and everybody else is higher. So let's pull them out. Let's start with... Mm, weak against that, weak against that. This one's weak against ice, and this one's strong against ice, so I better try and split this up. Do you have an earth attack? I don't think she does. It's alright. A generic attack will work. And in terms of ice attacks, we've got Mikayu. Yeah, let's just work with this for now. And anyway, her... Since I told you about the Suima shield, I equipped that on her and now she has the... K 
capture attack. But it's non-elemental, so... I guess we get to work with that. I think I can handle that with these characters alone. Oh man, sucker! Oh yeah, she's totally unequipped in this form. Well, it's not like I wanted to fight in it anyway. Hmm. Okay, just in his exception. Let's see what she looks like. Huh? Yeah! yeah. Mm, there's a little too much echo on the voice, if you ask me. But... Well, we can't hold it against her. <laughs> so it turns out that big old capture attack I've been waiting most of the game for. Looks just like the regular capture rope. Hmm. Well, in addition to these guys, I've got a little bit of a labyrinth to traverse over there, so I'm going to take another character or two. You need the experience, but he doesn't actually need very much. No. The enemy grunted when I hit him. And I thought for a second it was actually you making a vocalization. Heh, silly me. Oh no, Katurito. Wow, they have low chance to hit. They do a lot of damage, but if they can't deal, deal, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Good girl. Oh. Eel just got her level up, so that leaves only a couple others. Oh man, that thing really hurt. Oops, that wasn't the right way. Well, she has a ton of movement points. It'll be fine.
Oh, I can't believe you. Using a ranged attack. I mean, just because you can't damage him in melee, probably. Here we go. So, some of the people, masaka, katori to sama desu ka? Lippa ni seichou nasaremashita ne. So that form could it be Katorito? Oh, she has grown into a wondrous form. She has come to reclaim the pride of the dragons. So best of luck. Shuketoru is certainly rejoicing as well. That's her dead father, remember? Oops. Ah well, it'll be fine. Wait a minute, those guys disappeared. Where's my experience and loot? Ugh, I can't believe I let my bundles of experience and loot get away like that. Okay. Where is it? I need to turn off those battle animations. And now all of a sudden I forget where I, they are. No. No. Oh, derp. It's right here. Battle animations. I'm spacing out, don't mind me. Hey, Pearl Stone. I need Pearl Stones. I need five of them, though. This again. Come and fight me like a man. Or as a lightning like a lightning dog or whatever the hell you are. So I'd like to point out it's really convenient to go through this particular maze with teleporting characters. Because it's like 35 rooms. All connected in one by one by one by one. Oh. A healing card. Oh, guess who did something stupid. Hmm. Actually, I wouldn't want to be in an extended fight with that. You know what? Back to normal. Hmm. That's a large healing potion. But what made me stop and think there was the fact that... I passed by that... fixable item and didn't have a bar of sit on it. How careless of me. Hmm. Oh. And you has 
gotten his level up as well. Wow, that's even worse than I thought. I walked over right past this thing. I was thinking so much about what Katorito had to do. You're attacking I. Ah, oh, you're all a bunch of bitches. Well, the one who needs the experience here is... Oh, it's already pretty weak. Alright, kill it, Mikayu. Wait a minute. Those enemies are one-star spirits. I don't even need to kill them. Capture them. Oh, oops. Okay, so they attack I again. I guess this would be the downside of using teleporting characters. Thirty iron scraps. Interesting. Leave her alone already. What does she do or do to you? Oh, ouch. Maybe I won't have Rosaline engage these guys in melee. Well, I guess that goes without saying. Hmm. Hi, right, you know what? You're kinda injured. Let's have you take up the front line here. Yeah, weaken these guys up for Mikaya, will you? These are broken circle drums. She doesn't have the power to kill that. Nineteen times two. Yeah, this will work. Man, Rosaline's getting low on fatigue. 19 times 2, defend.
Man, with these weak-ass enemies, it's gonna be forever before Mikio gets her level up. No bad idea. No, wait. Oh, I need to fix this one too. Oh man, it hits harder than she does. <laughs> Defensive abilities. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it wasn't that it did more damage than she did. It's that she's weak against the element, that's all. Wait, did I capture that thing again? I'm never going to learn. Now the astute observer may have noticed that I left a couple of 20, level 27s behind in my inventory. The simple fact of the matter is you have, if you have more than three or four characters wandering through here on foot, it's a mess to try and keep them all moving. So I decided to just have a few characters on foot and a few teleporting through. Let's summon out Ramarin for healing. I have a feeling we may need her. Oh, spoiler! There's an enemy in the black there. Well, I don't need heal for this. Alright, let's fight. You don't do any damage to me and I deal damage to you. Hey, that sounds like a good fight to me. Yes, Ixe. Yeah, uh, well, that's 57 times 3. She's exceedingly unlikely to actually kill this enemy. Leaving it to my level 27s. Just as soon as I get in range. Hey, maybe I should milk this guy for more experience. Well, he's already lost like half his life because I hit him with Ranrin. So it's a little late now. 
I had to capture his ass. Mada, mada. Attack power, very good. A blade earth dragon's fang. How nice. No, oh, I know the perfect way to kill this flame hydra. Dark hydra. It's weak against ice, so it'll bring me K. No. She captures with non elemental. How do I keep forgetting these things? Oh, haha. -ha. Looks like the test is just going to be wearing it down until it falls over. Well, Rudin doesn't need any more XP, so let's keep it to these guys. Wait, did this thing do damage to Yorin? Ah, uh, me and my never paying attention to anything. Ouch! Jeez, talk about cheap. Now, fortunately, I won't be able to use that for a few turns. <laughs> yeah. It's got tons of life, this won't kill it. And now I'm down to my two level 27 characters. Sheesh. Weak against lightning. Hmm. Go away, Rudin. 22 times 2, no. Now I would kill it right now, but then it'll trigger the event underneath and that'll close the map. I also need to defeat that thing. So, stand there looking pretty, Yorin. And your job's done. Here we are, capture. Kodo <laughs> Kaishita? I gotta say, Yorin's laugh is just over the top hilarious. Alright, almost done. Let's bring Yorin in. Ha, you suck. Still made me... Still wastes a turn for me, though. Hmm, 15. Another case of an enemy that can't hurt me significantly. Oh hey, it's that one ability that prevents me from attacking. Cheap shot.
that is cheap beyond words. In addition to not letting Mikao attack her, he also cursed her so she can't use her special attacks anymore. How many turns? Four more turns. Well, let's wear this bastard down and when it's time to kill him. Stupid overpowering aura. You know, maybe I do need a healer over here for this. Yep, it's going to keep attacking Yoren, even though it has a clear path to go over and stop on the cave. Because artificial intelligence, you know. But Miki is in such a position that she can't attack. She doesn't have enough life to take another counterattack. And Yorin has wear, worn this guy down enough. Bah. Enjoy your last moments on Earth. <laughs> what is it? Mirror's coming to a doctor. There is something that cures curse, right? No, it's not curse, it's confusion. Yeah, I better get my terms straight. Alright, 20 times 2 attacks, great. Earth Dragon Fang. Eh, okay. Alright. That clears that. So, we did our look around, so it seems alright for the castle to pass through. And it seems like this fight between the dragon tribes seems to have passed in this area. Well, there's a, a, lot, a lot of ruins from it. And the mountains are pretty sturdy, so they should be able to hold the weight. So, what remains is meeting up with this Kalmerg. So, if we head for the summit, we should find him. In any case, let's be prepared. Alright, let's return to the castle. And I'm going to have to save right here. Because things are going to happen. So, clear everything 100%. Fix all those broken stones and... Defeat all the red enemies. Really? Mm, this is good. I've got some Albunea steel and suspicious fat reed. I don't know. Don't even ask me what it's supposed to be. In any case, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.